Mapping arches in 3ds Max can be tricky. I will show you how to use a spline mapping to get perfect results every time. First, we need to create a helper spline. Switch to a view where you can clearly see the front of the arch. To create the spline, I'm going to use the Arc tool. With the tool selected and the snaps turned on, click and hold at the base, drag to the other side, and then finish at the top of the arch. Next, select the Arch model and go to the Modify panel. We're going to add an on-grab UVW modifier. Under the selection section, choose Polygon. Right away, you're going to see a green outline around the model, which means the tool is active. Now, select the faces of the arch you want to map. For this example, I'm going to select all the faces. With your selection ready, scroll down to the Grab section and choose a Spline Mapping. A new window will pop up. Click the Pick Spline button. Then, select the helper spline we just created. You will notice that the bricks now follow the shape of the arch. At this point, we can press the commit button, but before that, let's see some of the options of this panel. There are two mapping modes, planar and circular. Planar is better for flat shapes, like for example a road. If we switch to planar, we can see how the top and base of the arch get stretched. For this object, it's better to use circular. Then we have manual seams. This option will use the pelt seams as the texture border. The next option is cross section. You can add more sections by clicking add section. Then click anywhere around on your helper spline. If you want to remove a section, switch to the move tool by pressing W on your keyboard. Then select the section and press the remove button. You can also align sections to polygons or to other sections. We can reset the count by changing the count number and pressing the reset count to button. Once you're happy with the result, press the commit button. We can now see how the bricks follow the curve of the arch. Finally, if you want to make a small adjustment, like for example, changing the size or moving the position of the bricks, scroll to the Edit UV section and click the UV Editor button to open it. With your faces selected, use the Move or Scale tool to adjust the bricks. For this example, I'm going to use the Scale button to decrease the size of the bricks to match the columns better. And this is how you can use the spline mapping to quickly ungrab curved objects like arches, roads, or window frames. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to click the like and subscribe button. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. And thank you for watching.